Getting approval for invoices that come into the business can be a long-winded and at times painful process for admin staff. Manual invoice approval can include printing the invoice, stamping it, looking up who ordered the goods, then asking them to check and initial the invoice, and maybe then sending it to a second approver who does the same, then returning the invoice to the admin team for entry into your ERP system. It's not unheard of for invoices to spend days stuck in this process, meaning there is unreliable visibility of the business's financial position. Admin staff can spend a lot of time chasing approvers who would much rather be doing their jobs than paperwork. Fetch Approvals takes all of this online and makes approving invoices quick and easy for everyone involved. To use Fetch Approvals, you need to be using Fetch Invoices. This video is not going to explain Fetch Invoices in detail, although we will touch on it. So if you're not familiar with Fetch Invoices, please reach out so we can either arrange a demo for you or get you the information you need in another way. First, a quick overview of how it works. An invoice comes in by email and enters Abbey, which reads and extracts the information on it. At this stage, we can apply GL code defaults, look up who ordered the items, find out which branch it's for, amongst other things. From there, if the invoice needs approval, it goes to two places at the same time. First, it goes to Fetch Invoices, which is where it is prepared for release into your ERP system. The Accounts Payable admin team would get to work doing what needs to be done with this invoice, if anything, getting it ready for release into MYOB. So once ready, it can sit there waiting for the approval if needed. The other place the invoice goes is to fetch approvals. Approvers receive an email when there's something for them to approve. This can be set to every time there's an invoice or you can set the frequency of emails to suit. They can see the purchase order, send notes back and forth within the admin team and approve or reject the invoice. There are no bits of paper flying around and admin are not held up waiting for approval. They can be all ready to go as soon as the approver gives the green light. Once approved, Fetch Invoices allows the invoice to be released. Once the invoices are in MYOB at the end of the month, you can use Fetch Statements to read the statements coming in from your suppliers and instantly check them against all the invoices that have been entered into your system. Fetch statements will let you know if any invoices are missing or incorrect, and you can email your suppliers for more information from there too. If you want to know more about Fetch statements, please get in touch, and we can send you a five-minute video about how Fetch statements works. So in Abbey, we have some invoices that have been stripped from the email attachments. We have the choice to have this part of the process happen in the background, if preferred. Or we can set it so that an admin team member can check invoices in here and add some details to them for the approver. Let's say they do want to have the opportunity to add some information in this stage. Maybe they want to code items or add a note for the approver, for example. So let's add a note. So we're happy with this invoice and we'll send it on its way. Now there are two processes going on at the same time. This invoice is being sent to Fetch Invoices for the admin team and also to Fetch Approvals for the approval team. This is what the admin team will see when they open Fetch Invoices. The green ticks mean that these invoices have no errors and they're ready to enter into MYOB and they've been approved. Red crosses mean these invoices have something needing changed before the invoice can be entered into MYOB. They may or may not have been approved, and if not, the admin team can work on these while they wait. For example, if we look at this invoice, we can see that one of the lines has not been matched to a purchase order line. So we can fix that. Once all issues in an invoice have been addressed, instead of the green tick, you'll see this icon. This means it's all good to go, but still waiting for approval. And while this has been happening, the approver has received an email and is able to check the invoice for approval. In Fetch Approvals, we set up workflows for the invoices to work their way through. There may be only one approver for an invoice, or it may need to go through more than one. Here we can see there's a workflow for three branches. That's the branch number in the brackets. 
We could have set these up for particular people instead of branches so that invoices for goods that somebody ordered go to them. Or we could set the workflow up so that the job manager receives the invoices for approval. We would set the workflows up however you want, but for the purposes of this demo, this example is by branch, and each branch has three possible levels an invoice can move through. We can see that when there are invoices there to be approved, the colour of the tile changes, so it's easy to notice, and we can also see the value of the invoices that are sitting waiting to be approved. If we go and have a look where these workflows and stages are set up, we can see what all of the rules are that we have put in place. Sometimes you might want to change these amounts that people are approving to, or make some other changes, maybe add or remove users. You'll be able to make those changes yourself whenever appropriate. Go back to the main screen now, and here are all of our workflows. The completed invoices tab shows invoices that have been approved in the past, so you can come and look up any past invoices easily here. So I'm logged in as admin, so I can see all of the workflows. Let's log in as David instead and see what he can see. So David has a different colour theme uh, to me. This is customisable, so his screen looks different to the one we were just looking at, and he can only see the workflow stages that are relevant to him. So let's come into the Christchurch workflow, and we'll choose an invoice to work with. So we can see the invoice, we can see some information about it, we can look at the purchase order details, and we can look in the approval history. And here's our note, price of water bottles has increased, can you please confirm? this is okay. So the approver can write something to the admin team. Back in Fetch Invoices, we can see now that there are two history items for this particular invoice. And if we click the link, we can see what has been happening. The admin team member can write back again. This can also be sent as an email, and here we see that message coming back in for the approver. So let's just go ahead and approve this invoice. Once it's approved, it disappears from the list, and because the invoice was over $1,000, it's now moved to the Christchurch Approver 2 queue. So the second approver would be logged in and this is all that they would see, but we'll just come into the admin screen and approve it from in here. So again, we can see all the information, but if we go to approval history, the second approver can see anything that has been happening as well, which will help them when they're deciding whether to approve the invoice or not. They're going to approve this now. It's removed from the list. And back in Fetch Invoices, where this invoice was saying it was waiting for approval, if we just refresh, we can see it's now ready for release. And there are six history items here now. There's the discussion that was happening, and then we can see the audit trail of who approved what and when. So now we can release all of the invoices that have a green tick. And in EXO now, we can see the invoice has been created. Any receipting needing done has been done by Fetch, and we can access a PDF of the invoice from within the transaction. Management may want to run a report to get an idea of financial position throughout the month, and this is easy with Fetch approvals at any time. Approvers and admin will see the value of the invoices that are waiting to be approved in the various stages of the workflow, and a report can be run to show a breakdown of these amounts. So that's how Fetch Approvals works. The admin team wasn't held up waiting for invoices so they could prepare them for release. There's a comprehensive audit trail, which can be found at any time in the completed invoices area. Team members can communicate with each other every step of the way, and approvers will receive reminders if they're being slow to get to their invoices. All of this without printing a page. If you would like to investigate Fetch approvals for your business, please contact us and we would be happy to answer any questions that you have.